the problem? Hello. Okay, we can see a picture. There you go. There. I can see myself. Okay, now Hi, we're everybody. Live. Welcome. We got a few people in the chat. Go ahead, say hello if you can hear us. Just want to make sure everything is working okay. Okay. Okay, good. We've solved Sweet. technical difficulties. Love it. Absolutely. Then it runs so smoothly. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, 100%. All right, I, I retired. Never on the street. <laughs> retire, retire, champion. All right, Jeff. I believe you're a defender. I'm at the terrain. Ooh. Checking out views. Yeah, welcome in everybody as we set up our board for our first fourth edition game, fourth edition two thousand point game, I should say of the weird cast stream we got a very fun slate going on we got matt with his daughters of cain that he hasn't brought out in a while which is gonna be great versus jeff and his blades of corn i am on the table at the moment yes <laughs> as i stand at the head <laughs> you can both see the thing that i'm holding in my hand to my left y'all's right and also in my hands Well, I'm waiting for some more people to show up before I do the big marketing push. The other trick is that you can see it on the uh, green screen over there. Yep. Uh, behind him. To Eli's left, I believe. Yes. Actually, let's do one thing. Turn that It's fine to me. Turn maps. Place of power, place of power. Okay, cool. With the board set up, I will go ahead and talk the way I get out of the way. Welcome to the Weirdcast. This is again our fourth edition stream at 2K points, our first one for the stream. We're sponsored by Battleworks, which is uh, the company run also by Jeff and Joe and Lexi in the background as well. Uh, today, they have asked me to come up here and chill out a product yes. for you. Deployment? Uh, I need the pull. This is a measuring gauge kit. What it's got is it's a lid with club logo on it, and inside is a bunch of measuring gauges. A 12, three nines, a six, then a five, four, three, and two combat gauges for all your Sigmar measuring needs. You can get custom on the combat gauges and certain club logos available on the lid. It's just one easy magnetic kit. You can just pop them in, hold all your stuff, bring it with you. Three, six, nine, damn good time. That's right. In the lids itself, they have a slot that you can just push to bring out your combat gauges, and then they slide right in. Easy enough, and the lids are magnetic. It works very well. They will be selling these very shortly on the shop. I believe they said the price is going to be $44.99. So if you're interested, like me, and you need a new set of measuring, uh, of measuring sticks, and you like a nice, easy, portable... Kind of like kit holder. Check it out. Battleworks.com. That's works with an E. If you see a dwarf that looks like Joe, and conveniently you should see it on the bottom right corner of your screen, you're in the right spot. At uh, They are planning at minimum Weird Knobs launch, but they are going to reach out to some of the other local Texas clubs. If you have a custom logo, you're going to have to email and see what's going on. They might do it. They might not. We'll see. But at minimum, you can get your name, custom stuff. Get some custom gauges. A lot of fun. Set yourself up for the new edition and measure quite well with these tokens. Joe, did I miss anything in my spiel? They're also going to be providing wound trackers. So if you need those for the new edition to... Also, they're going to be doing spearhead objective markers. For those of you that went to the spearhead event we had at Wonko's over this week, those are the ones with the numbers on it and the god beast names around it. So you can have that set up. We'll be selling those in the store. And terrain tokens to mark places of power and all the other kinds of terrain uh, that you need. Everything will be available for purchase on Monday. So keep an eye out for that. 
Keep an eye out on at the Weirdcast on Twitter. I refuse to call it by its current name uh, for a discount code. Joe will be tweeting that out at minimum. If you have any questions, feel free to put uh, post in the chat here or tweet at Joe himself. Someone will be responding. Will they be ready for LSO? Good question. Will they be ready for LSO? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have been I told. If you want them for LSO, the orders will need to be in by the latest on Wednesday. Okay, good. And we'll bring, them to, we'll bring them to you. We're driving up. Uh, a bunch of us are going. The three of us right here, plus, uh, plus some others. We'll bring it to you. So free shipping. Okay. Right. First drop. I think I'm good for anything else, so I'm just going to talk to you while they're, do while they're doing a little bit of deployment. We're playing the map, if you would like to follow at home and you found the leaked pictures. We're playing the Jaws of, uh, the Jaws of Galay map, so it's five objectives in an X formation. They got L. That's it. it was from the 2021, nice. or 2022-2023 GHB, something like that, part one, part two, one of those. And... Like I said, Matt's bringing Dodgers Kane. Jeff's bringing Blade, Blades of Corn. Uh, Jeff thinks he's going to get tabled really quickly, and Doc is cracked, so that might actually happen. I'm going to let uh, let Jeff take over the mic now. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks, Eli. Thank you, Eli. Hello, everybody. Well, if you, if you had the over under on how long does it take Matt to break hair off of a Doc model, and your guess was. Less than five minutes or before round one, congratulations, you win two internet points. Matt, what can I do with my internet points? <laughs> All right. Um, so, got another unit to deploy here. So, I'm going to be playing Daughters of Cain, and I have two, a two drop army. So, a basically, I've got. All the witch elf or the elf keyword stuff. So hag queen on cauldron, twenty um, uh, sisters of slaughter with shields, twenty witch elves with knives, and five doomfire warlocks. That's the first battle regiment. She's my general. Then I've got a second regiment of iron scale, ten um, uh, blood stalkers, ten blood sisters, and ten more blood sisters. No Marathi, Matt. Nope, not tonight. So, talk to me about the Witch Elves, because they kept the split profile, right? Yes. In the end, they have two completely different War Scrolls um, uh, for both uh, Sisters of Slaughter and Witch Elves. Um, the two versions I'm playing with, um, the Sisters of Slaughter are minus one to be hit, mm -hmm. and sixes for saves reflect a mortal wound. They have a five-up base save, so while they're wholly within 12 of the Cauldron, they'll be on a four-up. Um, the... Witch Elves, however, have dual knives, which gives them a uh, crit auto wound nice. okay. and uh, an extra rend on the charge. Cool. And then what other changes? I know mortal wound shooting is kind of kind of gone, right? Your, yes. Uh, your crit auto wound, I assume? They are a crit auto wound, okay. and um, uh, she doesn't do anything special for her crits. Okay. I believe the Avatar of Cain is crit mortals, which is kind of wild. I'll need to double check that, though. Okay, cool. I need to be... Eight away from this objective over here. And then I should be pretty much deployed. That's it? Wow, okay. I might move the... I think I'm going to move the Blood Stalkers up to the front here, and then I'll be done. Sure. So, a um, uh, couple big changes as far as damage profiles. Oops. He's magnetized. It's all right. Um, the... Aldrin is now um, uh, only 12 inches. Okay. So all the radiuses for bonuses to save and her um, uh, on-demand ward are much smaller than they used to be. Okay. The, um, uh, the Blood Sisters are now damaged two, which is a big win. Wow, okay. Um, there are only two attacks instead of three, but two attacks at damage two, which means that I'm a little bit less reliant on Mind Razor than I used to be. Okay. Um, let's see here. What else changed? The, um, uh, the 
blood stalkers that I'm currently deploying are mm -hmm. no longer crit mortals as discussed, yep. but they're three shots each. If they don't move, they crit on fives and sixes instead. Ooh, okay. What's the range on them now? Uh, 18. So a little bit shorter, but not much. Okay. You are done. And I am deployed. Okay. For me, I'm, I have a Bloodmaster who's a priest in one of my regiments because he doesn't fit in any of the other ones. I got Scarbrand. We got a now, huge, huge glow up. I guess a glow up? We'll see. Does tons of damage. He's 510 points. Mm -hmm. He does eight damage on two of his attacks, crit mortals to hit, which is kind of wild. Um, 3d6 charge. Mad if he doesn't fight. His roar is kind of better. His monstrous rampage is better. Um, so he seems pretty good. Uh, bigger glow up is Insensate Rage, who does five damage. Threes and twos. He explodes on hits on crit, mm -hmm. Instead which, of used, six to wound, which yeah. used to be wounds, and he's a big five damage. Uh, so he's he's pretty slappy. Um, expensive as well. He's four seventy. Both of them have four up saves and five up wards. Native. We don't have the whole like we get wards all the time. That's gone. But demons. I have a bunch of blood letters. I have thirty total. They are on a six up ward, two attacks. They do crit mortals. And I got two units, uh, or a unit of flesh hounds, I think. No, two okay. units of flesh hounds. And that's pretty much it. All right. As far as artifacts and command traits go, um, uh, all of mine are stacked on my uh, pauldron. Uh, once per game, she can give herself D6 ritual points during a hero phase. And she has Zealous Orator as a, as a heroic trait, which when a rally is issued wholly within 12 of her, I get three extra dice for it. Okay. And then how does Rally work now, Matt? Uh, rally is six dice base, okay. and on four ups you get a Rally point. Okay. You can spend a number of Rally points equal to the health characteristic of a model to bring back one model, okay. or you can spend Rally points to heal a wounded model an equal number of wounds. You can do either of those in any order, which means basically as long as you're rolling whole numbers of models, you can bring back a bunch of models, and then any leftover is free healing. Very cool. It does mean that if you are have lost a dragon, they stay dead. So Storm Drake Guard, Good. able able to heal them to full though. You could potentially heal six wounds off them, but there's no more randomly get back a Man Crusher or a Storm Drake Guard or any of the other fairly egregious big win high rolls. Yeah, I'm not going to be upset about that at all. Alopex is, I guess, are another option. Let me roll once at least. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. In there. Boomy, you've been sitting on my shelf for an entire edition. It's your time, my dude. Oh, yeah, so we've got a uh, chance in the chat. How's it going? Does that tell me to roll better? That is. But I do need to roll better. He's not wrong. Yeah, it's usually how I do it. Artifacts for me, Matt. I have... Actually, I'm going to move my guy. I have an, art, uh, an unbind on my Bloodthirster. Okay. Which, now that I remember, I'm going to move him in unbind range. Got it. I only have one cast. You only have one cast, okay. And you took the daughter's things, I assume? The daughter's things? The daughter's... Oh, like yeah, the, for uh, invocations, the, yes. Invocations, that's right. Yes, and I don't, have a, um, uh, I don't have a blade when painted yet, so I don't have it today. Where is your task? The Warlocks. The Warlocks, oh, that's right. How can I forget the Warlocks? I don't have it. You a built blade one. I have one built, I just left it at home because it's not painted. Right? There is no way Joseph's painted. <laughs> the immediate Eli's like, not even ask, no. It's not, it's not. I just told Joe to go get it so you have the model in case you find it. <laughs> Matt, could you make sure I'm being honest there? Not away from the objective? I don't want to roll yet. I'm, I'm, I'm scurred. I'll roll. All right, what am I doing? Am I doing, am I doing weird knobs or am I doing, am I doing Vault Wars? You are. No, no, no. You eyeballed a very good nine inches. Okay, good. 
There, I rolled the five. Thank it's you for making me ruin that five. Even if you never cast it. Yes, it's actually good now. That's yeah. why I need to get one painted. Yeah. All right. However, I have it primed, and that's about it. There you go. Roll the die for you guys. I did. I rolled a five. You rolled a two. See? Well, I'm not playing. Hey, seven. That's average. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I think that is me. All right. Do you have any other questions? Uh, the skull altar. Right. You don't. You don't like get D six from the miscast anymore. Essentially, the skull altar. If I'm in it, I could ignore and I get a blood tithe. Yes. If I'm not in it, I ignore within 18, essentially. Okay. Uh, that's it. I got the one unbind. I don't think my your, master un unbinds. Your command trait was that you have an unbind, right? Yeah. And what's your artifact? My artifact is... No, I'm sorry. My artifact is the unbind. My, okay. Let me look. Sorry. Oh, makes me a priest. Makes you a priest. Okay. Yes. So you have two how many? Priests. Two priests. Two, two priests. priests. One of them. How many wizards in your foreign army? Uh, zero. Oh, okay. Zero. <laughs> Good. Kind of like wizards. Kind of like, like it's kind of like playing. Oh, I, I am 1950 actually, so I will get the underspend like. point. Uh, I actually am as well. I'm 1940. Oh, cool. Okay. We'll start with five. Yes. And uh, it is your pick. Who goes first? All right. Uh, do you have any 3d6 charges? I know that used to be a thing. <clears throat> Scarbrand. I don't have the guy that does that, but just Scarbrand. Just Scarbrand himself. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Then I think I'm going to give you the turn. Okay. Jeff, good luck. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's do battle tactic. It's turn one, I get plus one to run rolls. Okay. I'm gonna throw this in tabletop battles because it's they updated it for fourth. Oh nice. And it's really good. So let's see. Just Sigma four. So, so I'm curious, how much of Joe and Eli's conversation do you guys hear on stream? None? Perfect. I hear all of it. Yes, I just wanted to, see, it was just out of curiosity. Can you guys on stream hear it and Chad's saying no? You're taking off? Bye. Have a good one, Eli. Bye. Bye. Not able to make it. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was looking for that, actually. So you have no auxiliary units. I have no auxiliary units. Matt is... Uh, I am Matt had 40. To, Matt had to better me. So. Yes, we were both playing five command points, turn one. Order. Daughters of King. Scathe Coven, right? Yes. So my uh, battle formation is that if any of my Melusai or Kinrai, which I don't have at the moment, mm -hmm. make a 8-inch charge, uh, un unmodified 8 or higher for their charge, they may um, uh, they, they get strike first. Cool. All right, cool. I got it in. All right. Um, battle tactic, we'll do seize the center. All right. And uh, see if I can figure out this corn stuff. Um, all right, let's do. We're gonna pray with the bloodmaster. Hold the two. We will bank that too. So the way prayers work now is oh, you, yeah. you roll if you if Docker Docker Bach. Okay. All right, we will pray with my Bloodthirster. Rolls a three, which I will also bank. You were wrong, you monster bank. No, they're nope. not global pools. They're per model it's a, or per it's unit. A, it's a per unit pool that I can use later. 
Um, Matt, I think that's my hero. You can right. bank, I can bank these as long as I want. Well, if you're done with your hero phase, I'm not done with your hero phase. Yeah, let me double check. I don't think I have anything. Blood Sacrifice is no longer a prayer for corn, so I don't get to do that. That's like on the uh, Slaughter Priest War Scroll. Uh, would you like to unleash spell, Matt? Yes. I also want to try to get a five up award on somebody. Yeah, that sounds like Looking a good Looking for a uh, three up from the cauldron. Okay. She gets it. Okay. We'll go ahead and put Witch Brew, which is functionally Old Blessing of Cain, except okay. it's not rerolls. It's okay, fine. It's Old um, uh, Devoted Disciples, but still. Okay. It's now Witch Brew. Uh, oh, if you oh. make it to the uh, Sisters of Slaughter, they have a five up award. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and unleash spell okay. just to get uh, D6 ritual points here. Okay. Technically, I'm going to be using Sacrament of Blood. Okay. Uh, minus one for unleash spell, plus one for being wholly within range of a uh, altar. Uh, the, so still a five. Okay. Uh, the avatar gives you plus one <clears throat> to pr uh, chanting rolls. Oh, did we want start of turn is actually um, drawn power or the drawn power thing. I'm not within three. I can't. I guess you're not within three either. You can't either. So. No, my, my heroes are for too far <laughs> yeah. back. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, that's my hero phase, crazily enough. I mean, a sheet like this? Like this that you, don't, you can't get from us yet, but we'll have it up really shortly. I need, to, I need to finish the backside. I only have one pitch. All right, so we're going to go to move. And, uh, oh, ooh, what is this? Ooh, this looks fun. I'm going to use this. All right, so I will run with my flesh hands, rolling a three. I'm, yes. I'm run eleven. We can't do like the Jeff average ticker thing. That 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 won't go well. Oh, Matt, we forgot one thing. Oh yeah. We need to pick our honor guard. Oh yeah. And we need to pick the abilities that our honor guard have. Uh, as attacker, I believe you would go first. All right. Um. I think, so my options are, if they're wholly within six of my general, they get, uh, she's minus one to hit, right? It's minus one attacks. Minus one to attacks character. As long as okay. that unit didn't charge, I believe? Yes, as long as the honor guard didn't charge. Yeah. The other option is that I can just get plus one rent against um, a type of my choice. Something, yeah. I'm going to give the witch elves anti-monster. Okay, makes sense. Um, who is in your general's regiment? Anyone who has legs instead of tail. Okay. So... Hmm. It's a strange way to do it, but it's the most visually easy to understand. If they have the elf keyword, they're in my general's regiment. Okay. If they have the melisai keyword, they are half snake and they are not in my general's regiment. I'll do plus one to hit and wound against them. Uh, plus one to hit and wound against... Anything in your general's regiment. And on which model? Uh, it'll be just... That unit of blood yeah. that others. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm moving, right? Let's see. I'm going to enter the, the shrine and become an invoker. Yes. Which is the new weird thing. Because there's no garrison. You have to have it unique on each war scroll how that works. Yeah. Makes he sense. Is, he is an invoker. He's going to invoke things. Um, I'm going to run these blood letters. There. We're going to run those doggos. 11 inches. Um, if you can kindly, Matt, just shove them. Pull me on the end of the objective. So three inches off there, please. Three inches off the objective. Yeah. From the edge of the objective, from the center. It'll be ed this is edge because it's not spearhead. Okay, got it. That's yep. what I thought. Yep. Pull me on there. All five? Yeah. Gotcha, I'll make a nice little ring. Yeah, this should be good. I have 11 inches. Maybe that... Lasts. You have more room than you need. Do I? Okay, cool. Yeah, 11 inches gets you past the objective. Okay, perfect. All right, we will run these blood letters. There is that six that we needed. All right. We go 11. Oh, I will pull out the cool 12. I'll be honest, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Like, as far as, like, plans go for this, 
I'm just raw dogging it. I got no clue. Gotcha. I'm My not far behind. I have done a little bit of looking over the battle tactics and promptly forgotten the ball. So I will be winging it. Yeah, my, my general plan is keep crap in front of my big guys so little guys can do damage. That's, that's my plan. Oh, and then my army trait, I think I set it off stream, but it is a five up award after you for won. my demons after the demons fight. Got it. And the whole army is demons this time, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and they just got a five up normal. Got uh, it. Scarborough? I got one, two more. We'll run Scarbrand up. Don't waste these sixes, please. He doesn't need nearly that much movement, but he's got it. And what is your movement now? Because it's been 10, it's been 12, it's been 14, it's 12. Okay. It's, oh, he's a monster. He doesn't get guarded here. Okay. So, gonna go there. Um, I'm done with moving. Would you like to redeploy? I think I actually would. Okay. I haven't figured out who I want to redeploy. Um, I think the right answer is going to be the warlocks okay. because any redeploy of less than four, they treat as a four. Hmm, that, that's cool. Or I can roll four. Or just roll the four. It actually serves a couple purposes. Um, I just measured, and the unit of Sisters of Slaughter was about four inches out of range for him. Back up a tiny bit. Go a little bit more that way. All right. Um, just want to get them wholly within range for casting spells next turn, more mm -hmm. than anything else. Um. Yeah, really, that was the main thing I wanted to do with them. Now that you've already run with everything in the area here, I'm not worried about you charging them. Yep. Which is cool. I kind of like how it's a reactive addition. There's no more, would you like to redeploy? Would you like to redeploy? Would you yes. like to redeploy? It's micro turns inside of turns. A little bit less of the... It's almost alternating activations, but limited. Yep. So, um, no charges for me. Anything okay. you free in the charge phase? I guess I'll call it there. I will hold one, hold two, hold more, or ten. And battle tactic. Okay. Because it's double. Yes. So Same as before, just yeah. multiply everything by two. Exactly. And just to make sure I'm not missing something, you do not have that objective over there, right? You are correct. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got center and, and these two, those two. two on the side. Yeah. All right, makes sense. Okay. I think that uh, brings it to my turn. Yep. So... See here, do I want to commit to fighting with two units and not losing any? I think that's easy enough for me to do if you don't get a big redeploy. I think uh, Seize the Center is the safe pick, so I'm going to go with that. Okay. So we're, we're both doing Seize the Center, knocking it out real early while it's relatively easy. Well, it's seizable. Yep. Um, heroic phase. Yep. She's going to uh, pray for Sacrament of Blood. Okay. Gets me up to eight. I'm going to okay. bank it. Uh, nine, because she's got a Plus one. Altar of Cain on the back. Yep. Let's go ahead and cast... I don't think I need Mind Razor on this unit, but I might need to charge longer. So we're going to cast Steed of Shadows from the Doomfire Warlocks. Okay. I've got it on a uh, seven. I'm at a range. I don't think I have any other unbinds, to be honest. Oh, wow. Yeah, I moved out of range. I'm like, I'm like two inches out of range. And I don't believe the priest can unbind. No, he cannot. Okay, yeah, so you're good. You got, see, right. you got to see the shadows. They have run in charge. I need a three up to give them their ward back. Okay. I've got it on a five, so they have a five up ward. Okay. All right. Um, I will spend a command point. Mm -hmm. I'm going to unleash spell over here. I hear. Yeah. Unleash prayer? I don't even know. Mm hmm. I will. Ooh. I'm do something. That'll put me at five, which would let me get out the icon. 
that have been a little bit more, could have actually gotten a seat of shadows on these guys if I'd moved a little bit differently. It would be nice to send those girls into, eh, even with a good run, they're probably not going to charge. Maybe they could. Okay. So, we're going to set up the icon. So what this does, this is static. It sets up within 12. And it turns off command points. I roll two dice, I need to roll an eight. So within 12 or wholly within 12? Probably wholly probably holy within. I don't like how they split the what the prayer does and then how you cast it into separate places. Let's see. I'm sure it's wholly within. Let's double check. Holy within, yeah. Made these nice uh, measuring sticks. Holy within. Right? There you go. Yeah, good enough. Okay. All right. All right. So that is, yeah, that is a. That is an eight inch aura of um, turn off command. Okay. So basically, you do the command, I roll 2d6. If I roll an eight, you spend the command point, and it's gone. Uh, an eight or higher, or eight. just an eight specifically? Eight or higher. Okay. Well, we, an eight, we've eight had, plus, yes. We've had specifically just an eight before, so I thought I'd check. Yeah, we don't have that fun stuff anymore. Gotcha. All right. Matt Rose doesn't look fun. No problem. All right. Um, down to movement. Yep. Start with a eight-inch move over here. Okay. Which will get me on the objective, even if you decide to redeploy and mess with my charge. Okay. We'll find out at the end of my phase instead of right away. Kind of cool. Yeah, it's a nice little change. These witch elves are going to run. Okay. Six plus one plus four is a total of 11 inches. This is a slaughter covering a lot of ground fairly quickly. Actually gets me way further than I need this unit to be. But they're going to charge in a second here, so not too worried about them overextending because they're going to be overextended anyway. All right. There. Going to run for the iron scale. Okay. And I think that yeah, this is the one I'm going to spend a command point on. Okay. So she's just going to go ahead and run uh, 14 inches. Because unless I'm mistaken, um, uh, it's like last edition where you don't get plus one to run if you spend the command point. You just get six extra inches of move and count as having run. That's a great question. Uh, I assume so. Yeah, I'm not actually sure on that one. I have the core rule book here on my iPad. I will look that up while you... Uh, the good news is that regardless of whether or not that works, she's where I need you to be. You got where you need to be, yeah. So run for the witch elves over here. Okay. A uh, six plus one plus one is eight. That will be in the advanced module for commands. Run for the cauldron. Six plus three plus one is... Honestly, I don't have enough room to move ten inches, so we're just going to bump up against the back of that unit of witch elves. Doomfire warlocks don't really need to run. I'm going to make a run roll as part of the run ability and said add six to that unit's move characteristic to determine the distance each model. And that unit can move as part of that run ability. So it says add six. It doesn't set to six? That was, yes. So it's just, it's the same fair using as last edition. Is it? Okay. It is the relevant part. Sure. All right, we're going to move the Doomfire Warlocks 14 up this way. It's just the normal move speed. Maybe quick. Yep. We've got an eight inch move for the Blood Sisters over here, and I believe I need to stay three away from your. 
That's my god, I don't know. Conveniently, that is exactly how far I could have moved anyway. Okay. So I think I need to stay three inches away from you, but it doesn't matter because my movement speed says I can't get closer to within three inches anyway. Manifestations that have a move characteristic of zero cannot move. For the purposes of movement, oh, oh, combat, move. rage, being in combat and setting up other units, they're only treated as they were units in the combat phase. Okay, so because you have no move speed, I can walk straight up to it. Yeah. Units can finish a charge within half an inch of an enemy manifestation that has a move characteristic of zero and set it within half an inch of an enemy unit. Models can move through manif manifestations but cannot end a move on top of them. Makes sense. Okay. We're going to move this big block of blood stalkers closer to the middle. Okay. Who's dumb? Sorry. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Bear. Yeah. All right. That's true. So other than these girls needing to be a little bit more incoherency instead of incoherent, I think we are ready to go ahead and start shooting at you. Okay. Well, you're done moving, right? I am done moving. So do you have redeploys? I do. Who's going for a ride? Great question. I think most worried about. So we're gonna redeploy mm -hmm. over there. Silly girl. Oh, you got better. Just starting to break her hair. Right? And then Doing better than me. what I'd like you to do is just slide me four and keep me up. Gotcha. So that would be basically the wall is here now. Correct. Okay. That look right? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Better than I would did it actually. I'm glad you did it. <laughs> no problem. Okay, Peyton, we'll see. I know it's Peyton. I don't even have to look. <laughs> <laughs> All we, right. We were bantering on Twitter. We ready to go to shooting? No, I don't like that face. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. I think everything except the Doomfire Warlocks and the Bloodstalkers that could shoot has moved. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot with those two units. Okay. Uh, the Bloodstalkers move, so they won't get all their bonuses for crits, okay. but it's still 30 dice. Yep. And who is your oh. target now? 31 dice. My unit champion gets an extra shot now. You know, um, no more little dragon? Yeah, right? I lose my blood worm. All right, so I don't think I can actually see over the... These uh, guys should be out of line of sight. Yes, but is your shrine? Um, I think... Is out of range, so it doesn't matter at okay. the moment, but that's an interesting I'm question. I'm pretty sure way. this block. I don't. Uh, so we, it would be obscuring. Right, and this is a place of power, so you'd be able to see it. Right. Yeah. You would be able to see it. Okay, so it is not obscuring, it's just physically blocks line of sight. Yeah, yeah. This is a, this, these, this one here and then that one. The bones are a place of power. Got it. So I can't, I can't reach you because I'm out of range. Correct, but you normally could have reached me. Yeah. And I can't see the blood letters because physically that terrain is too big. Yeah. That I agree with. The weird thing with this map, I don't know if you know, okay. is you can't shoot the guy in it. Yes, I saw that on okay. the war scroll. Okay. I have to shoot the thing and yeah. blow it up. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to shoot everything into the um, uh, uh, flesh hounds. Okay. And see if I can't get rid of them. Um... Uh, I'm going to save my command points. They work out. All right. Uh, looking for threes to hit, sixes for crits. Would you like a... Very good. I going to say. Good luck. The, ah, the dice tray. Yeah. That probably would have been a good idea. I was just debating using mine, but I'm using it as a sideboard so that I can count dice faster. Mm, gotcha. All right. And roll into wound. Okay. Looking for fours now instead of threes. Okay. An excellent set of fours. These are mortal wounds. So that's five, 10, 15, 16 at one rend into doggos. Did you say mortal wounds? 
More wounds. More wounds. Okay, that's good. Six. Seven, no, they're four, demons. Four, These are demon wounds. 14. 16, right? Yes. I don't believe their save had changed. So that's probably a five up down to a six with one rend? Yes, it is. But right. they do have a six up ward, which is interesting. Okay. That's a win. Yeah. No sixes. Sixes and then try again? Yeah. More like no sixes. No. Out of. No. Yeah, right. Uh, dead, two, three, four. They're dead. All right. I rolled four sixes out of 32 dice. Right? That is one under. Yeah, that's not bad. Look at that. That's about right. There we go. Look at that. Rolling the averages. I'll get a blood touch. Right. All right, and I'm going to just shoot everything into, uh, from the Warlocks into the... How many wounds does that uh, sh uh, icon thing have? Like, it, I'm just... I'm still amazed it has a wounds characteristic, man. Right. Like, I have no fucking idea. Let's see. Uh, it is 10 wounds on a 4-up. Perfect. I won't accidentally kill it with 10 shots. All right, hitting on 3s, wounding on 4s. Three, and I don't think I have any rend. Did I say four? Yes. That's two. Does this thing have a... I know all the spells have a ward. I don't know if incantations have a ward. Hmm. These would be smart. Oh, they do have a ward. A ward. Uh, take a wound. All right, no problem. I have left your charge pylon right where it needs to be. Yes. That is exactly what that is. Yep. All right. Speaking of your by, uh, that charge pylon you gave me, mm -hmm. let's try. Um, uh, we're going to start with this unit of um, uh, blood sisters. Sure. Yeah, they're going where they want. Sure. Out of ten, no problem. I can get. All the way around the other side of it. Okay. I don't want to. I'm perfectly happy just going to here. Uh, that does mean that they will have strike first. Okay. Yep. That's every eight or higher on modified. And that's everything or just the snake? Uh, just the melee size. So yes. So I've got one model currently out of combat range. Let's go ahead and charge with the Witch Elves. Okay. Or sorry, the Sisters of Slaughter. Uh, because they have Steed of Shadows, they can run and charge on an 8. As discussed, they're not Melisai, so they will not get the um, uh, strike first off this. So you, do you have a melee profile on that uh, icon? Like, I legitimately don't know. <laughs> no. I, my guess was probably not, but no, maybe. No. It just stands there and gets hit. Looks ominous. Yeah. Got it. All right, new plan. We're going to put... So we only really get one tray worth of models in here if we want to stay wholly within 12. We're going to make it the unit champion. And everybody else is actually going to use that 8-inch charge to put more models on the objective, spread out, and hold a front that is wholly within 12 of my cauldron. Because I like bonuses to save in wards. Perfect. All right. Charging over here for the um, uh, Blood Sisters. Yep. Uh, that's a six, which is decidedly not an eight or higher. However, it's plenty to get me where I need to go. Okay. That's it from a charge phase. Okay. Um, do you have anything at the end of the charge phase that you would like to declare? You rolled an 8 on them, but they don't get the sharks first, right? Correct. That's what we were just talking about. Okay. You're looking at a 10-inch charge. Definitely more than half an inch away. Charge first. They're dead. 
third dive. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't matter. Like, I'll roll it and spend the two because... You don't have anything else to do with them? Yeah. At, at this point, like, it's not like I'm going to get anything out of them. Uh, yeah. Not a 10. Okay, did we're not, good. Did not get it. All right. Easy. Then I think with that, I go to the start of the combat phase. Um, I don't have any combat phase abilities that I'm going to... Oh. On a three or higher, I have to roll over your wounds characteristic. Okay. On a three or higher, you will have to strike last. Okay. Dogs can strike at their normal initiative if they're somehow not dead. Yay! <laughs> I'm just going to preload my blood tide now. Yeah, right. All right. Um, so the strike first unit of um, uh, Blood Sisters. <clears throat> okay. It'll be 20 attacks plus one for unit champion. So a total of 21. Yep. This will be threes and fours. Okay. And you said these are two damage now, right? Yes, these are two damage and crit mortals. Okay. I have 10 mortal wounds, and we'll figure it out from there. Uh, I, mean, I think we, it has nine left. We know I'm pulling it, Matt, but uh, let's see. Oh, no, it had eight. It's a, it's a corn thing. It has eight. Makes sense. So it had seven remaining then. Yeah. Okay, cool. As long as you got exactly the right number of dice out for a whole unit of Blood Sisters, or, oh. She should have moved here so that she was actually in combat range because I rolled dice for her. E easy enough to do. Oh, the uh, the the back screen is frozen. The magical screen is broken. Yes. All right. That's why we have that still there. Right. Maybe. There we go. All right, cool. You're going to see me. All I'm right. Like a jerk for 10 minutes. Here we go. I'm going to all defense. <laughs> I've got command points with nothing to do, so I'll all out attack. Sure. All right. It should still be 21 dice, right? Yes. Twos to hit, sixes are mortals. That's Cox. Still hits. All right, we'll start with 14 mortal wounds. Like, they're good, but this is above average. <laughs> I'll take it. Made four. That will get you down to exactly dying, right? Uh, yeah, on the nose. Okay, cool. That saves you rolling to actually use... Armor saves. Yeah. Basically, Doc is so cold this edition, they don't roll the wound. Right. <laughs> An obvious caveat here, we're going to get things wrong. This is my second game of fourth edition, so I apologize in advance if I make any mistakes <laughs> here, but eh, we're working with what we got. Yeah, this is... I played one turn. Yes. So... All right, so I have a big unit of Sisters of Slaughter that charge and don't have any units within three inches. How do I pile in? They go wherever they want. Literally wherever I want. Wherever you I want to go. I can back up if I want to. You can back up if you want to. Okay, we are going to hit the S key on this because I'm already capable of making whatever charge they want to next turn. Yep. And I just want to make it cleaner where they are in relationship to staying in this aura in case I do something dumb and pile in the wrong way. Cool. All right. Um, that's going to be it for me. I've got uh, one, two more, which you're holding the, uh, all four battle, or hold you, everything. You got 10 points. Yes. As well as I do. Yes. And I should have done the two fights and no one dies. Oh. Yeah. The, what is that one called? I don't remember. Oh, it's... Uh, do Not Waver? Do Not Waver, yeah. Probably. That right. sounds right. Wasn't sure if you would redeploy out of my range or not. I just didn't want that to happen to them. Yes. Like, I'm like, I don't want that to happen in turn one. Like, if it happens now, it happens now. Yeah. But yeah, I did not. I did not want to deal with that right away out of the rip. All right, Pro. I got a five. I got a six. It is your call, my friend. 
All right, so let's see here. If I take the priority here, I have to worry about a double turn, yep. but I probably just delete a giant unit of blood letters and call that a win. Oh, yeah. Um, Boomy has fly, correct? But yep. Scarbrand does not? Correct. All right, so what I really have to worry about is him trying to find a corridor to countercharge me. Yep. Um, it does mean that I don't have to learn any new battle tactics because I won't be able to pick one. Correct. I'm... Oh, hey. Ooh. Ozzy, thank you for the gifted subs. Appreciate you so much. Yeah, thanks. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take the turn, and we'll see how far... I know that the supposed meta is drag behind, become the underdog, and push two to three. But I won the priority now, so I'm taking it now. I'll take it now, too. All right. If I were you, I'd absolutely take it now. We're going to find out how much of your army you have left at the bottom of two. Probably going to be nothing, and we're going to be done. Hey, I'm all right with going home early. Yeah, I've got corridors to get through here. I'm good with this. All right, I'm taking the turn. I do not have a battle tactic because I took a double turn. Correct. Here's a dumb question. Your um, uh, invocation, mm -hmm. do you get a blood tithe for it? No. No, it specifically says that? No, no invocations, no non endless spells. Got it. Has they, to be. They you. don't count as being destroyed for the purposes of any battle tactics. That'll do it. Okay. Yep. All right. So That was the first thing I thought. I'm like, if corn gets blood tithe off invocate or like endless spell. Just pray for blood. That's, yeah. your, that's your replacement for. Yeah. Um, um, I'm like, that's pretty dope. Sacrifice? Yeah. Nah, not so much. Okay. Worth asking. Yep. Okay, so that's my, um, uh, th th I'm taking the turn. Yep. Um, hero phase, we're going to start with a pray for um, a Sacrament of Blood. Yep. That's not a one, so it's going to get me over 10 because I already had nine. Um, so we are going to push the, we're going to push the Sisters of Slaughter to turn five. Okay. Um, they will have... Plus one to run, plus one to charge, plus one to hit, plus one to wound, and plus one attacks. Sure. Um, unfortunately, the big sledgehammer units I have are not in range for the buff or not in range for an easy charge. Sure. They are no joke in their own right, though. Uh, let's see if they can keep Witch Brew on a three. No, they will lose that. Let's try for Mind Razor from the uh, Doomfire Warlocks. Looking for an eight. Got it on a nine. He's leaving within 30 from there. You're about 28. This is my only spell if you're having a hard time deciding whether you use your uh, unbind or not. Not what I'm looking at. Ah. I assume the witch elves are in range. Uh, no, actually, the target is going to be this unit of blood, uh, blood sisters. It's only 12 inches now. I think it's oh, only 12 inches. Interesting. I can't let it go. You let it go? Do I roll or do I? No, my, my choice is, do I roll it or do I just blood tie it off? Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yes. All right. Roll it. Looking for a 10. The question is, do you need the blood tithe, not do you need the unbind? I mean, realistically, they're going to clean up the side. Yes. I mean, I'm not really worried. Like, if they get there, the game's over anyway. So we'll just roll it. We'll save the blood tithe. I think that's the better call. Um, Nine ties me. Nope. All right. So we have Mind Razor. No way that I packed a doc set without having a mind raiser token. <laughs> you just don't do that. All right. So done, done, done. I think I am out of heroic phase actions. Do you have any fun stuff you want to do in my heroic phase? Let's pray. That Look. seems like a good, good plan for your army. Uh, three. Oh, yeah, I have four command points. You're down to three. Uh, you are minus one on uh, Unleashed Spell, by the way. That'll give me five. All right. 
which means you're probably going to pop off a big prayer on your turn. So mm -hmm. be it. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to movement, I think, at that point. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of hero phase, and you're done with my hero phase stuff, so, or your hero stuff, your, your things in my hero phase. Okay. So let's... These girls up here. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, yeah, we know. yeah. As soon as I ro uh, rolled and realized I hadn't explained <laughs> who they're on, I'm like, wait, it needs to be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's going on this unit. Yeah, I mean, logically, knowing what the range was. Yeah, once you know the range, my options are either themselves yeah. or the Bloodstalkers or the Blood Sisters. So it was a. In my head, it was obvious, but I should declare it openly. Um, yo. Hey, Woo! thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. Um, do you know when I activate? Uh, you, you know I activate Murder Lost in the movement phase, right? No, I did not. Okay, I do. Okay. And it's, an, it's an automatic three. It's an automatic three. Yes. So I need to be... Six inches away. She needs to be six inches. Thank you for the heads up there. Yep. Uh, and is that uh, one blood tithe or? This one, yeah. Gotcha. Is it once per phase or is it still three times up or up to three like just, it used to be? Pretty sure it's just once. Okay, got it. Because I have to worry about the other plan where you actually redeploy backwards as well. Yep. So I'm going to say I'm more concerned about you leaving than I am about not getting to charge. I'm okay with not rolling the charge dice. As much as I would like to guarantee a strike first. Well, not guarantee, but have a good chance of a strike first. Yeah, it's a, it's a once, just a w one unit basically moves three. Gotcha. Okay. We're going to just move this turn. These girls have an 8-inch move. Do you have any way to strike first or give me strike last? No. Okay. So. And if you make that charge, I'll have to trust in just Crystal Touch to give you a Strike last effect. There's my six inch move for these witch elves. We're going to go ahead and run them. An extra two, excuse me, an extra two inches. Because sure. after I moved them, I realized I, well, if you surge forward with the um, uh, blood letters, maybe I could have made a charge there, but I'm going to commit to they're just moving this way. Aldrin is also going to run. Total of 10 inches. Gets her up to here. These girls have an 8 inch move. I'm up to here. Here. That's as far forward as I could go. I might end up backing away a little bit. 18 is not going to get me a shot over there. I still won't be able to see them, but I can see this cleanly. I can reach from the back mop. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of the models that are a little further up backwards. It'll leave me a nice channel to slide my Doomfire Warlocks in front. I have a 14 inch move, which would get somewhere all the way over here.
Do you have any like teleports? I know you can resummon a bloodthirster that's died early in the battle. Mm -hmm. That's really it. Okay. Um, nothing. Nothing fancy. So, all the all the tricks and stuff that the army used to have are kind of not there. Oof. So a lot of that a lot of that heck. I have a little bit, but a, most of it is change of plans. Okay, cool. Yeah, just didn't just didn't want to abandon an objective to find out that you're now over here and there. And well, if I do here. summon the bloodthirster, it, it is deep shark. It so, is anywhere on the map. Yeah. Okay, so you need six more blood tithe. Yeah. And also to lose a bloodthirster. Yeah. At which point I accept that you have surprised me with a backlink. It's still an objective. Sure. If that happens, and that's the best use you've got for it, you got me. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, and with that, I believe it is um, uh, the end of my movement phase. Everybody's moved. Okay. So we're going to redeploy. Going for the redeploy. They're backing up? I don't know. I'm going to roll and see what I get. Gotcha. So we're going to go with the big squad. Well, if, if nothing else, they are not uh, murder lusting. Well, they're the one. The fun. Well, uh, I guess that's a question. Could you redeploy and then murder lust? Yes. Oh, okay. They're not, neither one of them is core? Mm -mm. Well, yeah. core. Mm, no, yeah. the blood tithe is not core. There you go. That'll work. Yeah. Um. About to stay out of six. Did I stay out of seven? Well, the funny thing is, I did not. I can't redeploy into combat, of course. Right, but you could then proceed to yeah murder lust after yeah. So, there might be a way to get her into combat, but I'm not actually sure because you need to finish the redeploy outside of three from this unit. The question is, is there, you are within seven of her, but is that within six? I'm taking her from the back. I think so, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, if you can get to here yeah. with a one inch redeploy, I think that dude could bring her in. Just barely, but it would work. Now the question is, is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of worth it not... Like, maybe they don't get strikes first, and I get to fight with something. <laughs> is kind of what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Because I'd like to fight with something. So, we'll do the end. We'll do that. Then we'll spend one blood tithe. Then we will murder lust. It's also turn two, so I am plus one to all my charges. Okay. Keep in mind, Scathborn is still unmodified charges, but. Them going where the fuck they want to. Um, yeah, the redeploy into murder lust is significantly better than just one or the other. Yeah, yeah, makes it better then. Does like just play around this literally every time, but you can't because six. Yeah, you have, a, you have effectively a potential nine-inch murder list. Yeah. Which does mess a lot with charge ranges. Yeah. Not as cool as the Iron Jaws murder. Essentially, they have murder lust in the hero phase. Yep. And a murder lust while they're in combat. I think I just gave you a 20 block of blood reroute. But... Uh, I don't know if you gave them to me so much as they, um, uh, they were going to die. Yeah. I, I do not think you have changed how things go for that. I just want to be able to crack. Makes sense. All right. So with that. Okay. Charging for the... Shooting first. Shooting first. Shooting first. 
Um, yeah, this is the end of your movement phase, or my movement phase. Yep, end of your movement phase. Yes. So I'm out of 10 from the cauldron, out of 10 over there. I think she's a 10 inch shot and the warlocks are 12, but I might have those back. Pull up my war scrolls real quick. Okay. the war scrolls and I just need them to load enough that I can see which one's which. <laughs> Otto does not have amazing internet. 10 inch range on Torn of Blood. Okay, I'm correct. Okay. All right, so she's out of range to shoot anybody. They are probably one guy can see them. I don't know, I might be tall enough to see over it actually. So head to head. What are you, what are you looking at? Uh, Warlock to Blood yeah, Letters. For sure. I think that because we're mounted, we've got three of them that can reach. They'll take, take a couple shots. I will get cover, so you'll be minus one to hit. So it'll be fours and fours. Cover saves you almost everything. Uh, nothing. All right, she's out of range. Okay. I don't remember if the Iron Scale has shooting combat or not. She doesn't. Okay, that's easy. And that brings us down to just the uh, volley fire from the... Blood sist or blood stalkers, yep. which you've now moved into range for half of the unit. So I'll take yep. that half of the shots. Okay. Uh, so ten shots there, or fifteen shots there, fifteen shots into the altar. Okay. The unit champion is the girl with the blood worm. So I think she's in the front. I don't know how this works. Okay. But like. So the way terrain works is that if you can't draw a line around all the terrain to get cover, I don't know if a fucking building gets cover or not. Like, I don't know how that would work. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, like, if it was a unit, I'd definitely get cover. I'm a building. I have no... Yeah, that's well, we'll say very no. weird. We'll okay. say no, it's a building, but something to look up later. Gotcha. I think I'm going to go ahead and all out attack this one, mm -hmm. because I'm pretty sure this is a fairly decisive shot. Would you like to alt defense anything? Um, rend is one. Rend one. No. All right, into the blood leathers. Sixteen shots. One auto wound, and it's a good thing I'll attacked. Forced to wound though. Yikes! Maybe it didn't matter too much. All right, so four saves, and that's it. This is. One each? One each. Six is again. Got two of them? Yep. All right, and into the altar. Hitting on twos. One automatic wound. Fours to wound. All right, so that'll be seven at one rend into the, uh, into the altar. I rolled before I looked. It's probably a four up, but it might not be. So I guess, yeah, four up. So save two, take five. All right. How many wounds does it have? This is why I hate cards. Uh, it has five left. Okay. Fairly sturdy then. Yeah. I think I'm out of shots. Okay. Um, uh, you've gotten the rest of them into combat or are too far away. Okay. Uh, anything at the end of my shooting phase? All right. I'm going to return fire. You're right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe Scarbrand yells at me loudly. He does I yell. But I don't think he yells that far. No, he just he didn't used to. So far. Okay, so you've got these three units already in combat, right? Correct. All right, I'm going to charge with the um, uh, Blood Sisters that are not in combat. Okay. They're going to roll an 11. Okay. So we're going to strike first after all. Which 
someplace. Okay. Oh wow, Scarbrand's shot is a is a rampage now. Interesting. Okay. So it's only in combat. Yeah, definitely a completely different mechanic. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm not going to get to fight with anything. All right. So, what are the rules for setting up a dude after he falls out of there? How far away does he have? Uh, uh, within three of it. Yeah. Like if you surround it, basically you can just kill me. Okay. Which is so stupid. I don't think I'm going to be able to completely surround it. I'm trying to figure out if I can pile into you after I kill it. And I think the answer is no. If you pile off, if you drop off the back, then you'll have sp uh, safe space to land. If this terrain feature is destroyed before removing it from the battlefield, inflict D3 mortal damage on the invoker, then set up the invoker on the battlefield wholly within three inches of this terrain feature and not in combat. That unit is no longer an invoker. If it is, if it is not possible to set up the invoker, it is destroyed. It is probably pretty easy for you to kill him if you kill the altar. If I have another three-inch pylon, probably. So, okay. I have no other charges that I can declare. They ran. Everything here is out of range, and everything else is in combat. So, yeah, with a three-inch pylon targeting the altar, I should be able to have no problem. I'm going to go ahead and all-out slaughter on this unit, which will allow them to fight twice. Okay. And I'm going to just try to clean up that whole side of the board. Cool. Um, you'll get to hit this unit before it would all out slaughter. That unit won't get to get hit. I think I stick with that plan. I'm okay with that. Okay. If nothing else, you've got a priest up there with a whole bunch of ritual points that I need to not be unleashing them. So, sticking to that plan, do I have anything else that happens at the start of the combat phase? I don't... Oh. Duh. I get a little bit more information before I finalize this decision. Can I make you fight last here? They are two wounds, right? Mm -hmm. They have strikes last. I'm all slaughtering here. That, that got real easy real fast. Uh, can I make you fight last up there for funsies? Sure can. So both units of blood letters have strike last. Um, they will double fight. I'm far less worried about killing one priest than I am about killing as many of those as I can. Okay. Um, done, done. Into combat. Going to go with the strike first unit first because it has strikes first. All right. I have 21 dice. You've got 20 wounds worth of blood letters there. Yep. And two wounds left on the shrine? Uh, five. Five wounds left on the shrine. Okay. Putting five attacks in the shrine, and that would be 16 into 21 miles. Yeah, 16 into the blood letters. Okay. So on the shrine, this will be threes to hit, no mortal wounds, fours to wound. Shrine lives. Yeah. Didn't matter what I put those into. All right, and the rest of it into the um, uh, big blob of uh, blood letters. Sure. And everybody should be in range for what I'm sh uh, swinging at on three-inch reach. I'm not going to bother piling in. I'm actually kind of happy with where that unit is right now. Sure. All right, into the blood letters. Hitting on three, six are mortals. Six are mortals. All right, that's, there's, there's the roll to wound I needed. Okay. So, that's going to be seven. This unit has mind razors, so these are Ren 2. I go right through? Yep. Okay. That's two of these that are mortal, so that's effectively nine that have gone through. I charge with mind razors, so that's going to be nine times three is 27 damage. Daughters of Cain. Still Daughters of Cain. I like this whole base damage, too, on uh, Blood Sisters. Yeah, it's great. Sorry, we, we know you're going to borrow this army at some point, Jeff. Four, five, six. Just short one. Yeah, seven, you tied it and just barely died. Close, but enough. Eight. 
All right, that was my strikes first activation. So first normal activation is going to be the um, uh, iron scale. We'll move slightly towards you, but not too entirely much. Um, she has six attacks. Threes and fours. She also has crit mortals. So two mortal wounds and that's it. Uh, Got another one? Almost. All right. After she activates, she chooses a unit of Blood Sisters that are within combat range. They get plus one attack for the rest of the turn and immediately activate. You, you, you see the combo. You, you, I already told you. This is no surprise or anything. It's just... No, no. Here it is. We, we've gone from theory to application. So I have probably, oh, she could make it if I leave her room. There we go. Just have to reach here, and she has plenty of space here. Great, everybody's in. Three attacks each is up to 31 swings. There's 30 dice and one more. I'll AOD this one. Yeah, um, I've already all out slaughtered this unit, so they will not be able to all attack. All right, this is going to be threes and fours. Sixes are mortals. And fours to wound. <laughs> Two saves. <laughs> Not the best first swipe. Uh, one ren, so yeah, one goes through. That'll be... Uh, two damage from that, and then eight from mortal, so total of ten damage. All right, so five dead. Are you still going, or are you done? Oh, uh, that's that activation. Okay. Four, five. All right. Four. Sucks. All right. So you'll deny me this piling, which is no big surprise. Kind of saw that one coming. Um. So I'll just go with the uh, um, uh, blood uh, blood sisters again. They still have their plus one attack. And you are totally going to charge in and kill them on your turn. So at this point, it's just a, how much damage do I get before that happens? Because the answer is, so far enough. And the other question that's uh, pending is, do you then double me back? At which point, I have a, um, a Scarbrand going free problem instead of a, your two Bloodthirsters hit the stuff that I've got ready to get hit by Bloodthirsters. Um... Where did you all out attack? Over there? Uh, I did not. Okay. They're all out slaughtered. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I all out attacked in the shooting phase. All right, everybody's in. Let's try this again. Three's to it. All right. Two blocks of dice at a time. Let's do it that way. Because the problem is I don't, my hands aren't big enough to hold them. All right. One crit. Well, um, turns out that just because you have 60 dice doesn't mean that you can't just miss a bunch. 
So I can at least clean it up to, uh, a little better to wound this time. It's a better roll to wound. Okay. All right. So four, eight, 11 saves at one rend. So you'll be back on fives. Mm -hmm. Two. That gets you down to nine. So plus the one mortal, so that's uh, 10 times two is 20 damage. Two, three, six, seven, eight. All right, made three saves then, makes sense. Seven and a floater. All right. Cool. That's all I've got. We're down to strikes last. Oh, that's it? Okay, so... We'll do three into the iron scale. Okay. Into the five there. Yep. So two into the uh, blood sisters and three into the iron scale. So this is basically six dice at the iron scale. Yeah. One damage each. Yep. Okay. Cool. Not gonna all defenseless. I'm gonna need those on my turn. <laughs> And you are staying out of three from here. Okay, good. Threes and threes. Sixes are mortals. That two misses. That's going to be one mortal and two saves. And neg one. All right. Looking for at uh, minus one. So we'll be on sixes. Fail them both. And then three wards on sixes. Fail them all. Take three damage. Uh, mortal one. And, and the Blood Sisters, they fail their ward as well. All right. Oh, you know what I forgot? I get this one. dude does get to fight here. No, he doesn't. Oh, that's right. He's off the table. He's... He does get plus one to Chan in there, so I just, okay. I just pinged his dice up by one. Sounds good. Uh, one, two more. Uh, yes, one, two more, and I can't take a battle tactic. All right. And I gave you one blood tie that turn, so you're back up to two? Okay, sounds good. All right, so let's see how bad I pay for playing, playing aggressive there. I think I got enough that that was worth it. But I think this is going to hurt. Um, hold on, let's see. End of any turn. Get back three blood letters. All right. Uh, battle tactic. Keep you mad. Who's in your generals? Um, uh, anybody that is not Melisai. Sisters of Slaughter, Warlocks, and uh, the Witch Elves. And of course, my general.
Yeah, I don't think this game's over, but I do think that I currently have an advantage. Yeah, of course. Question of how much can you do this turn? Can't do that one. We're gonna do uh, Slady Entourage. Okay. I gotta kill, pick a unit in, in your regiment. I'm gonna go with them. Okay, makes sense. I think somewhere between two Bloodthirsters, you can probably do that. Uh, let's see. Leave Sacrament is only until end of turn. It's over. Okay. Uh, let's let's pray. Let's pray here. Six plus one, that's a n total. Um, it helps if I say what I'm praying for, doesn't it? Yes. Sorry. Are you cool if I blood boil? Yeah, sure. Because I, I feel bad. I should have said it before I rolled it. Would you have done the same thing whether you got I'll, the crit or not? I was going to hit them either way, yeah, to be honest. Go for it then. All right. Um, right. Okay, so it's a horde breaker, so it's... 20 dice? Yeah. On a 5 up. All right. Okay, so 5 ups. Like about half? More than half. One, uh, two, four, and eleven. More than half. All right. Six up, Lord. Ah! Declare your spells first next time. <laughs> I will make also more than half on my six ups. I will lose five models. And we actually get about where you probably should have been the whole time. Works out in the end, right? I get a break, you get a break, everyone just does the thing. All right, I'll just take the front end off that squad for now. What else you got, Jeff? What's your um? What's your saves normally? Fives. Uh, fives. They're currently at plus one from Blood Shield, though. Uh, let's go for. Where is your wood? They're over there. Things on the silly thing. Just add. There. Uh, we'll go for unholy flames. What's that do? Oh, uh, it gives me a rend. Cool. I'll bank it. Fair enough.
All right, cool. That's my hair phase. Anything for you in the hair phase? Quite a bit. I'm going to spend a command point to rally that unit that you just a whole, did a whole bunch of, do, of stuff to. Okay. So I have Zealous Orators, so I'm going to get uh, an extra three dice. I have Standard Bears and Musicians. I can't remember which one of them is an extra die, but I have it. Ten dice looking for fours. Neat Blood Boil. Gonna make him a battle attack, I'm gonna make him hard to kill. And I'm going to randomly spin the Avatar of Cain over and over again. And on a three up, they also have a five up ward. They do. I have a feeling Scarbrand still can do the job, but I'm gonna make sure that if you want your battle tactic, he's gonna to have to do the job. All right. And I'm banking my last command point. All right, got a movement. Sounds good. Boomy's fast, right? It's like, what, 12, 14, something like that? Nice. Yeah, I remember you told me at the beginning, I couldn't remember if it was 12 or 14. I just remember, yeah, he's covering that distance without any trouble. Gives me a question of how many sixes can he roll, because that's what still scares me. Probably not enough. I'm gonna pop this bro out. Go there. Uh, still moving phase, little blood tide. Pull them in. Oh, so he's uh, murder lusting to just barely within three? Yep. Okay, makes sense. And uh, that's my movement phase. Uh, I don't have anything to do in your movement phase. Okay. I am strongly considering doing something in your shooting phase. Yeah. Yes, please. Water sounds great. Uh, water, please. I think I'm going to go ahead and burn my last command point and fire the Bloodstalkers into Boomy. Okay. I'll be minus one to hit. So I'll be fishing for really fives to crit because I haven't moved this turn. Sure. But fours also hit and could wound. Um, I get AOD, can I? I believe so. Yeah, oh, AOD. Yeah, buckets of command points. May as well use them. Yeah. All right, so hitting on fours, fives crit. These are fours, and these are higher. Fours to wound. That's five, 10, 15 at one rend. So your normal save. Sure. What do we want to do? Want to do that? Do that? 
Let me get my... Matt, here, you do that. I do saves. How many, how many am I doing? 14? 6, 8, 10, 12. Did you say 14? Uh, 15. 15. It ended up being exactly half the dice. Rounding okay. down. All right, so... so... We have a new measuring stick organizer. Oh, thank you, Joe. So I'm looking for fours because of... Plus one, minus one. Oh, dear. Fours. Well, that all defense got you some value. I saw like three fours in there. Yeah, it did. And five up board. Yep. So I get six through on that? Yeah. Not enough to bracket. Yeah, I think it's 10 damage. Closest target? Closest visible. Yeah. Um, six, right? Uh-huh. There. There. It's our kit. It's cool. We will have it on sale on Monday. All right. Um, shooting phase. <clears throat> you did that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we'll charge. All right. Um, let's go. Boomy. Good Five. thing he's fast. Uh, right? And then we go Scarbrand. <laughs> yeah. With the 11 inch charge, where would he like to hit? All right. Are you trying to stay outside of three for, because you currently have? Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, cool. All right, I don't know what to do. Well, I've got start a combat phase stuff to pop. Boom. All right, so... Yeah, Crunchy would be a lot more armor. All right, so Scarbrand... <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, that's combat phase. Okay. Um, or just an extremely move. elusive Slim Jim. Full of knives. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Boomy's gonna do shattering charge. Okay. Roll D three on a two up inflict an amount of mortal damage on the target equal to the roll. If the target is infantry, inflict an additional three mortal damage. That's really good. That is really good. Okay, we'll do that. Give me the witch elves. One. So we'll do three. Does it do well, actually, on no. a two plus? I guess, I guess not, because it says additional. Yeah, so nothing. Oof, all right. And you said you had a pile of stuff. Yes. Uh, do you have anything else uh, before I do that? No. I'm going to try to make them fight last. Okay. I will whiff. They get to fight at normal initiative. Okay. Uh, that guy has six wounds. Mm -hmm. All right, I can't roll over six. Okay. And I don't think I have anything else that I can use right now. Okay. It was mostly just I wanted to make sure I tried to fight last. Okay. Um, so where do you want to go first? I don't know. I mean, let's go with the new hotness, I guess. We'll go with the Boom Thurster. Dr. Boom, all right. We'll go all out attack. I'd like to roll all the sixes. All right. Dice have been going a little against Jeff. The only thing you really got to break on was my uh, Blood Sisters whiffed their first roll a little bit. Second one was probably about what they should have had. So, here all right. goes. All right. So, this will be twos and twos. Sixes or crits. All right. Here, here's the big pucker up roll. Yep, none. All right. It all hits, though. Minus one to hit. So you didn't roll any twos. Don't worry about it. So it's going to be four at three rend. Four at three rend. I have a four up save, so that goes right through. Okay, so 20 damage. <laughs> All right, so it's still spicy. 
but I'm going to keep Scarbrand honest and fighting over here. All right, five up ward from which room? Uh, looking almost straight on average here with eight. That's half rounding up. No, one over. I'll take that. So 12. Five. Ten. Yeah, I've hit that thing a couple times. Thank you, Joe. The smarter answer is, why don't we just move it out of where I'm standing? Don't know why I couldn't come up with that fairly obvious answer, but clearly I couldn't. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. There's a, there's a 12. Sure. Now I've got a tough call. Do I try to stop the battle tactic and let Scarbrand come play with the Witch Elves? I actually can't move outside of three from you, so there's no reason to bother. Okay, that makes this easier. Did I pull enough to be outside three? <laughs> you got me by a millimeter, Jeff. Oh, this one's a little closer. All right, so there's no reason to worry about that. And minor retcon, I'm going to keep my unit champion and lose a different model. Okay. Seeing as I can't pull myself out of combat anyway, we're going to go with the, um, uh, the iron scale over here. You were, you were able to hit me, so I can hit you back. Don't even have to measure. She's looking for threes to hit into the um, uh, blood letters. Do you want all defense? Um, I'll see. Just all at attack. Yeah, I do. All right. Looking for threes to hit. It's a mortal wound. And fours to wound. It'll be two saves at one rend. All right, so there's a total of six damage. Save one, take five, so kill three. Three models, and the floating wound's gone. She's going to give an extra attack to the uh, Blood Sisters, I know, shocked, and they're going to immediately fight. Just, just going to amount to curling in a little bit and still saying outside of three from Scarbrand and saying if you want to bring them into combat, then you'll do that on your own term. But I'm not going to choose to uh, close that bridge. All right, 30 dice again. 31 dice, you still haven't killed a model from the squad. All right. That was rough. All right, threes to hit, sixes are mortals. I'm telling you, the uh, Scathborn activation order game is real, even if it flubbed this round. Still have... Plenty of tools for just... I don't think it's flubbed at all. I, I didn't get to force uh, activation orders. It's just been the damage is there. All right, so that's five... There's ten at one run for two damage each. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah the, I think that this build is great, whether or not I get to play with activation order. Uh, rent? Rend one, so I'll match out your uh, all defense. Those are two damage each, and then four mortal wounds after that. So it'll be eight, two, so four, it'll six, go up to 20 total damage. Seven. And then four mortals? Yeah, so 16 plus four for 20. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah, um, Blood Sisters are doing work. How much is the unit of them? Uh, that unit is less than 300 points, 280. Just punked a 400 point unit like Novel. Wow, okay. Yeah, Blood Sisters good.
Where's Peyton now? Where are you at, Peyton? There's also like 150. I know. There's a, there, there's a not, ton of support. I know. It's, it's actually just one model. It's it's actually just that's the sub faction. What is the score? And you said how important. Uh... All right, we're going to fight there. Okay. Not on my phone. We don't have an app yet. Fair. I hate cards so much. They're nice. I don't know if y'all can see the cool cards. Walmart dollar photo or one hour photo. Eight bucks for the whole book, which is kind of cool. But I just don't like paging through cards. All right. Uh, this is threes and threes. Ooh, two rend, because you're infantry. Yes. Uh, so threes and threes, uh, six crits and mortals. Uh, it's going to be two at rend two. Goes right through. Two to each? Yeah. Six up ward. I'll save a girl. Lose one. Huh. Here we go. Back to me. Well... I think I hit you with this unit before you do some pretty significant damage to it. And I think I'm going to remove your options for where Scar, um, uh, Scarbrand can go by just clomping into him. That wasn't a point of fact. Didn't think so, but making sure that you don't also split and just hit the Blood Sisters who are do doing a lot of work right now. You, you've got... You, I think you're right. You need to actually hit this battle tactic and... Make up for the yeah, because I'll still be down by primary. That. Um. Okay, so these girls are two attacks each times eight models. Eight times two is sixteen plus one for the unit champion. Let's move to seventeen attacks, threes and fours into the guy who's wounded. So into Boomy. Four at no rend. Okay. That's two. One damage. All right. Two more. Five ups. All right. Uh, let's see. When did this off? This rampage is weird. It's in the combat phase. If it says in the combat phase, I would assume that start a combat. It says once per turn, any combat phase. So yeah, that would be. I think that's combat phase abilities. Strike oh, first. It? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um. So you can only hit them. Uh. Nothing. Neat. Um. Big guy gets to do big damage, but the question is, where does he want to do it? That, that sounds very Scarbrand. Uh, the Sisters of Slaughter are minus one to be hit. Honestly, as much as I hate it, I think I just stay where I am. But everything in makes sense. Does it? All right, we'll go with slaughter first. Uh, this is threes and twos. Minus one to be hit. Nothing. And you you did not exaggerate this. You can't roll dice on corn thing. And orange. I'm done with this fucking. Go. Go. I am so sorry, Jeff. 
Okay. Porn sucks. Um, I'll hold one. I think. Are you done fighting? No. I got over there. Yep. Pile what I can in into him. Looks like I've got six models that can reach. Sorry. Four models within six. So if they go straight, they can. Everybody else is going to shuffle this way and slap the altar. Because I can slap an altar. We still have Mind Razor. We don't have the plus one uh, damage, but we do have plus one rend. So that'll be eight attacks plus one for unit champion into your uh, hero. Threes to hit. And fours to wound. One save at two rend, and then uh, four mortal wounds after that. Uh, one save at what? Two rend? Uh, yes. Mind Rage gets me up to two. Six. Nope. Six total damage. Will live. And into the altar. I've got uh, five models swinging, so ten attacks. One at one, uh, two rend into the altar uh, for two damage. Two each? Or, or just one save for two damage. You, you miss it. I right. filled both those. Yep. Weirdly, the most resilient thing you've got is the shrine, I guess? The building should be durable? All right, cool. Uh, I think I am now out of stuff. Do you have anything? End of combat or end of turn? Is there a concede phase? <laughs> um, I think the, the Scarbrand whiff kind of does feel like that, yeah. Um, yeah, like seriously, like I hit with nothing, like absolutely nothing. Yeah. But yeah, oh look, he does eight damage now, and it's two attacks every time. Yeah, it's great when he's hitting on threes and wounded on twos. Like no. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt to watch. All right. Um, I control one. Drop my battle tactic. Let's roll prio. Out of three. Out of three. Uh, I win the tie. Do you want to play it out? Might as well. It's going to take two minutes. Sounds good. All right. I'm now plus one to hit. It's turn three. And in additions gone by, the Avatar is awake. He's always awake now. Up's reset. Um, we all get our command points back. What is the underdog effect? Yes, that is a thing. Ooh, okay. So that's where the Jaws of Galay effect comes in. Yeah, we were tied last battle round. That one? Yeah. Feels like a fairly obvious call. All right, and I should remove casualties from the table. <laughs> oof. Accurate, but oof. That's okay. Is uh, Jeff doesn't play corn after today. Yeah, Jeff this is, is uh, Jeff sla is, Jeff Slaves is in Darkness uh, until until new book. Yeah, this is this is horrific. Okay. Um, can you murder us while you're in combat? No. Okay, so you're actually stuck there. There's nope. no surprise. Yeah, and guess what? We don't have any more. Fight in the hero phase. Oh no! So how many blood tithe are you up to? Of two. So, I will... Oh, I should pick a battle tactic. I've already done hold the middle. Um, Play the entourage. What's, what's, what's even your entourage? What's even the entourage? My general. Oh, just the general? No, the general in that unit that you butchered earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, that's what's, uh, so, which one's the general? That guy? Boomy? Uh, it's, no, it's Scarbrand. It, he, is, it is he's, Scarbrand? He's actually Warmaster. He has to be general. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Um... Yeah, I. There's no reason not to. I do like cool boys, actually. Cool boys are fun. 
Yes. Uh, I'll go ahead and slay the Entourage, see if I can land that. Cool. Um, trying to kill Scarbrand. Uh, we're going to pop our once per game K Knight pendant for D6 ritual points. Mm-hmm. Or six. And we're going to pray for Sacrament of Blood. Four plus one is 11. Uh, the Witch Elves will continue the string of this is exactly everything that this army could want. Um, and they will be turn five. Um, let's see here. I've got... I'll cast a spell from the Doomfire Warlocks. Let's do... Mind Razor. Okay, you... You do catch some minor breaks here and there. You don't have to deal with mine raised with witch elves. Um, those are my two big hero phase plays. I think that's it for my hero phase. Okay. Uh, you have anything? Yeah, I will we'll unleash spell. Sounds good. Um, the extra command point for going for being fifty points down is only the first battle round. I know, but I the underdog. Oh, okay, got it. So I get the command. Got it. Uh, okay. How exactly does that work? Because I actually haven't read that rule. If you're losing in victory points, you command. Oh, neat. Is, it, is there anything like um, uh, in Spearhead where there's a second effect if you're down by more than like five or something? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, I need to get used to watching for that. This is, uh, like I said... For... Yeah, it's just, it's just underdog. Yeah, whoever has less, less victory points got to command. Okay, cool. And then whatever the twist is, look at the twist. Yes, so that was this objective went away. Okay, following that. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Are they variable battle rounds now? No, it's five. Okay. Yeah. I know that. I know the match play ones are four, which was weird. Or not the match play, the uh, core rule book one. Oh, are they? Yeah. You know, I was. So that's what I saw. That, that would have been cool. If the, I mean, we've been playing pretty quick though. Yes. I mean, I mean, we've just been. There's not a lot of dancing or anything. I'm gonna do blood boil actually. Okay. Um. So it'll be super go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time I'll do the enhanced effect. I didn't do it last time because I felt bad. Um, they're juiced, right? Yes. Oh, you, I. So you'll be minus one to wound. Minus one to wound. Okay, got it. That wouldn't have made a huge difference. This time it does. A lot of them, maybe. Seven. Yikes! All right. Oh shit! I totally forgot to give a unit ward save, but oh well. Uh, I miss all my wards. Huh. There's seven of them. All right. Um, movement. I'll just stay outside three here. Got an eight inch move, so I'm not really worried about how far I can get. That unit of uh, sisters is already in combat, so they're not going to go anywhere. That was the one tech play this army has left. The um, uh, murder lust and the redeploy. Yeah, yeah redeploy the... murder lust was actually pretty cool. Or yeah, that's it. That's all they got. Yeah, every uh, all the, the fun stuff is gone. The minus one to wound after I've picked my target is uh, to for a battle tactic is pretty neat too. Yeah, but that's yeah, you're right. It's not nearly what it used to be. Okay, let's sound close. Let's pull back here and tons of space. Like the movement's gone, the, the hero phase prayer is gone, the move. The fight and hero phase really hurt that it's gone. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. And like all the all this so stuff that they there. used to do, like like the book, like the latest book, I you know, was too good. Like Murder Lost was too good and all that, but like all that stuff mitigated like damage they were taking. Mm-hmm. So they pulled all that stuff out. Yes. And like there's just no damage mitigation anymore. Like at all. So it's just it's just weird. Yes. No. Yeah, he's 
he's real expensive. And even if he does hit, like he can spike real hard. But that seems to be the theme for Bloodthirsters. Like uh, Dr. Boom here is also really good when he spikes. Yep. Yeah, Timmy loves this army now. Yeah, which is unfortunately not the player base Korn has anymore. Nope. Yep. All right, um, I'm good to start shooting. Cool. Um, I've got the Cauldron into Scarbrand. Actually, uh, what am I looking at damage and stuff for? Let's, let's back up and start with the big salvo into Scarbrand. Let's do the easy one. Okay. So this is 30, uh, 31 yeah. shots. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and one for the unit champ. Fives to crit, threes to hit. Hits. What's up? I think it's the one he expected. <laughs> it's what I expected. I got my. La I played uh, in a spirit tournament last week, and I got my last murder lust in the hero phase to beat giants and seal the win. So that was that was my send off. This was just just put them under. That's a twenty dice, Matt. Uh, that is sixteen. Yes, sixteen dice. Whoa. I'm up in the Slim Shady. Oh, wow. What is he now? Eminem? Eminence. Uh, rend one, so I stay at Force? Yes. This is in the Scarborough. Yes. Those will take nine, go through. Rewards will six. take six damage. All right. The iron scale hits on threes. Wounds on threes and shooting, I think. Uh, well, the five will definitely work. One at one rend, so it keeps you on four. Good to go. The, um, uh, the warlocks will shoot into the... I'm going to actually remember they get an extra attack for unit champion. Into um, uh, Dr. Boom. Hitting on threes, winning on fours. Two saves, no rend. One each. You got what, four left? Six. Oh, they're 16 now. Nice. All right, the cauldron will shoot him. Looking for... Threes and threes, I think it might be threes and fours. I rolled a three and a half to look it up. It's at least two, maybe three saves. Right. Uh, just one. Just one of those. Uh, yes, it is wounds on threes. The two go through. Uh, one each. Save one. Rend one. I should say ward one. Gotcha, gotcha. Save one, ward one. Yes. Works your, way, works your way down and takes one. Okay, that's my shooting phase. Going to charges. Going to start with the cauldron, actually. Looking for... It actually doesn't matter what I roll. Because I'm plus one to charges. And... Bladed impact is... Roll a D3 on a 2-up, inflict an amount of mortal damage to target equal to the roll. I don't. We're not, neither of us are good at impact hits. Yours were just a lot scarier. All right, charge for the Witch Elves. Can't Ooh, fail that. Witch Elves are all Elves. Yeah, right? I'm asking you, which, are, which Elves do you want me to charge with? The answer is all. <laughs> no, the, but the answer is all. Oh. Abraxia, Vanguard. 
That makes me excited. Rex makes me really excited. Iron Scale. Uh, she will have Strike first. Care about that one? Yes, you do. No, this is the one I care about because you're gonna be Strike's loss too. I'm gonna lose. Um, unless I can roll a 17 on one die, I'm not gonna give you Strike's last. After all, over your health. Oh, okay. I thought it was just you had to roll a. Oh, they can still get Strike first, but if she has Strike first after she activates, I immediately activate another. Unit. Oh, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that the, was actually the, 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 the dominoes about. happen anyway. It's... Yeah. That, that's why this is such a powerful combination. I effectively have four chances to roll that eight because she also has an aura of reroll charges for Melis. So one of those four chances needs to connect. And then I get to strike first. Yeah, Doc is, as we've kind of identified pretty wild. Um, I don't need Marathi. It, it, it's the fact that I don't have Marathi is why I have like 50% more models on the table. The um, uh, Doomfire Warlocks. He's under the wing. They'll all be able to get in as far as it matters. All right. Start of the combat phase. Um, I don't have anything that I can affect with Crystal Touch. So I don't actually have any start of combat phase abilities. You got uh, Aurora, I think? Yeah, let me kill a model before you table me. Maybe. Sorry, this just no problem. This is everything that you've had as a big power play has just not happened. You've had D three plus three mortal wounds that just didn't roll the the, the um uh, you know sixty six percent chance. Charge phase. No. Somehow Scarbrand missed everything. It's just been rough. I'm sorry about that, dude. It's just I, I understand. I don't feel bad. This is a frustrating game for you. I know. Carburn has how much damage on him? Uh, he has six. How many wounds does the Melissa have? Uh, she has three on her. How many she have left? Three. Cool. He's going to roar her. All right. Uh, so what exactly is this? Um, four is immortal wounds. He rolls either three or whatever is equal to his damage. Damage taken. Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, so four? Four mortal wounds. All right. She's dead. Which will save you from the strike first trick. Now here's the question, and I already know the right answer. The right answer is go with the uh, with the uh, Melisai first. Kind of want to hit you with the Avatar. Kind of want to hit you with the Witch Elves. I think we're gonna go with the. We're going to go with the Melisai first. It's a smart play. I might be able to just kill the Boom Thurster before he swings. That's, a, that's the wrong call. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I should go with the Doomfire Warlocks first. Doomfire Warlocks first? Yeah. No, no, no. They're just, they are there to steal the kill after everything else goes weird. They, they have a job, and they know what it is. All right, so I only have 20 attacks this, uh, 21 attacks this time because you did take out the uh, support piece there. This isn't the Boom Thurster? Uh. This is going to be mixed attacks. So okay. I'm going to have to split. Okay, let me know when you're done splitting. All right, I'm going to split in 50 50. Can I break? Did it break? Did who break? Ooh, that wing chunk. Yeah, I see what you're pointing at. This is busted. Oh, wow. Oof. I have no idea. But that at least looks like that was a magnetic spin. Yeah, that's dumb. Okay. I mean, even when Lexi smashed all my models. It's okay, they're going on the shelf anyway. No one's ever going to see these again. I'm not going to pick that up. All right, so it'll be 11 attacks into Scarbrand and 10 into Boom Thurster. Um, we have, what, six on Scarbrand, right? Yes. Uh, we'll all out Scarbrand. Okay. Let's start with the Boom Thurster. Uh, it's turn three. I hit on twos. 
two mortals or two sets of mortals. And um, uh, so there's going to be two saves at one rend. And at fours, I'll fail both. Uh, it's, this is on the Boom Thurster. So he doesn't have all defense. Okay, you, fine. Fail I, anyway. I fail anyway, yeah. So you got a total of eight damage. Can't make a single fucking five up. All right, into Scarbrand. Twos, but sixes are mortals. Forest to wound. I got all my sixes just a little late. Um, uh, five at one rent. Two each plus two mortals, so that's four plus ten. So ten total, yes. At least he can make wars. Scarbrand's looking for a redemption round after his first time in combat. Victory. Uh, it's probably under a mellow size. Yeah. Alright, um... Where does he go? Which elves have the minus one to hit? Or uh, minus one to wound? They're minus one to be hit, they're minus one to wound you. But they're also plus one to wound, so it'll be normal for I'll give the cauldron in combat now. Uh, the avatar is up to five attacks at damage three or four. We'll go there. Yeah, he's scary. Uh, she'll all out defense. At least try to make some saves here. Yeah, we'll throw everything there. Yeah, the avatar is five attacks, damage three, run two. Yeah, yeah, we can't have them. Nope. And I got to at least try to make some saves on her, so I will all defense. Okay. All right. Uh, just scrub around. You're dead, buddy. Oh, I got a blood test. All right, so we'll go slaughter. Uh, we are threes and twos. Uh, it'll be two at run two. All right, all defense gets me down to a three. Bail them both. Uh, eight damage. Oof. All right, spicy. Not enough to kill her though. But I've got a pile of wards to make. Carnage. Uh, it's going to be two at run two. All right, this is going to be uh, fives. Make one, take one. So that's another eight. Another eight. All right, so I got 16 damage. We have a crying corn emote. Yeah. Is it awesome? Um, no, no, not on the channel. I've, I made a corn sad, though. So we do have a corn sad. Oh, these are down to uh, Slaughter Queen's. Er, she's only 12 wounds. She used to be 14, I think. Ooh, okay. So this is probably dead. I made one ward. She's dead. Yes! There we go. We ain't out of this yet. Alright, and now I will summarily execute... Uh, no, actually, he might be okay at this point. Scarbrand might be okay. He, he might be okay this turn. Let's, let's keep, keep it reasonable. You've actually gotten rid of some pretty big synergy pieces I had. Um, so, range pile, and it's no problem getting all these in then. What's that? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. We'll get we'll get on that. Yeah, unfortunately, I do the business and I do all the stuff for the weird knobs and all the spearhead all right. stuff. So yeah, sorry, I'm working on it. All right, thirteen witch elves. If you have ideas of emotes? Let us know. I have corn, corn, corn siders. Yeah, we got corn cider already. We'll just, we just need to port him over from the Discord. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. And watertight. We need a watertight. Watertight, nice. Okay, so that is 13 Witch Elves. They're up to four attacks each. Okay. That would be 52 attacks. Plus one for unit champion. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Daughter's a cane! <laughs> How many points does that unit? 220. I think 
And you killed most of it, or you killed almost half of it. I know. It's like it's just this is the the buffs have stacked. So twenty six plus one die the the first time, and I'll take one dice out for the second half. Yes. Six is to crit, twos to hit because I'm plus one to hit. Just page one. Uh, cheat sheet will be done. Probably will be done before LSO for sure. But I have page one of the cheat sheet is done right now. If you all wanna. Plus see. one, minus one to wound gets me four. Because I'm essentially just trying not to watch Matt tear my <laughs> ass off right now. But. All right, so that is 12 saves going to the second half. Is this the minus one unit? Or no? Yes, they're, they're plus one to wound from Sacrament of Blood. They're minus one to wound from you, so they're still on fours. However, six is automatic wound, so you can take yourself up to uh, 20 saves so far. I'm not going to let the man not roll his dice. That's rude. Uh, 23 total, three more. Got 20 here. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll have, the, I'll have the front. I'll put it up. The front page, at least. Because that has all the battle tactics. Uh, Rend? One, because I charged. Thumb force. That was actually not... Not too bad. Not too bad. Gonna come down to the wards. Got one more four there next to your elbow. And is it two each? One each. One each. I didn't get my uh, mind razor. Oh, yeah. You'd have you'd, you'd unbound that automatically if I had. I would have. All right, so you're just under on the five up wards. Two for he's dead. To the wound, I think, right? Nine yeah. plus seven. Three, six, seven, eight. I'm one over. <laughs> one over. Okay. We got there. There's, yeah. There is no need. You've got a dude over there and not enough uh, blood tithe to bring it back. Yeah, like th that's the thing. Like the blood tithe is kind of gimped. Like every like nothing work like the it's like oh cool I get that that four hundred and seventy point model back like not really like you can't like these are already useless like I don't know like it's and I know people are saying I'm crazy but like I don't know like the army just doesn't work you know what let me fight with this guy Matt if that's cool oh yeah go for it like I know I'm I'm post shaking going back but like maybe I can kill a guy or something I don't know. No problem. Um, but yeah, like, I just don't, I don't know how this army works. Like, like you get like the, the obvious, like, oh my God, it's like that guy does five damage and Scarbrand does eight damage, but like Scarbrand just used to do eight damage. Now it's like, you could whiff, like you can save it's two Ren. Like it's mm -hmm. not, it's not impossible for, for that stuff to happen. Um, look at that. Two mortal wounds. And two saves at one round. Two saves oh, two rounds. Two rounds? Okay, so it goes straight through. So six total damage? Sixty. I will save half of it on six subs. That's your other half of your problem, is I'm using Daughters of Cain dice. And as we all know, they are the best dice games Workshop has ever made. <laughs> this is true. Go ahead, kill me. All right. Uh, not fair if I get to roll and you don't. I lose a model and a half. Um, I'll see. I had one. I had one reinforced unit. So, I mean, yeah. Part of his problem is that he doesn't have many units on the table, and Corn usually has a bunch of blood reavers and stuff that it can yeah, throw like away. Yeah, like like if you're playing, that's the thing. Like it doesn't have the blood type generation. It part of the part of the build in now is like if you play demons, everything's expensive, and you can't the way that the the fat the regiments are built, you really can't take anything else. It's weird. Okay, that'll be. Six saves at one rend at two damage each and a mortal wound. Right. Because I wounded with seven out of nine attacks. All right, fives. Uh, is it two each? Yes. Plus two mortal wounds, so ten damage. And also the war shrine because this thing's going to fucking live. <laughs> what's what's going to live? Your, your altar. Oh. Three saves at one end. It doesn't matter. It lives. Ah, not tabled, Matt. 
My building stands triumphant. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Squid dice, dice are the most hilarious dice. No. Oh, the thing went. The thing is. Okay, corn. so we can we can still hear ourselves on the phone. Just the TV we have in here is uh, yeah. resetting the connection. Corn's angry. That's what it is. Right. Or is it? Or is it a uh, cane because you couldn't take out my altar? Right. Well, I mean, three Ooh. saves at one ren. Technically, I could kill it at two each, but yeah. All right. Made one. Take so take four. It's still it's still live at one wound. All right, so I still don't kill the altar after three rounds in combat with it. <sighs> All right. Do we want to break for five and do the after hours, or what do we want to do? I'm doing fine. I've got got water. I'm good to keep going. I'm, I'm good to chat. Folks running at the impression that it was that stuff. Um, end of 3.0 definitely felt like it was. I think that with the organizational scheme we have, there's a few things to note. You can no longer double reinforce units, so the option to roll those big Death Stars is actually gone. Yeah, so you can get as many single reinforced units as you want, but the max unit size is effectively 33% lower than it used to be. Um, at the same time, I think that there is some encouragement in the deployments that if you want to keep drops down, reinforcing to fit into fewer regiments is encouraged. But I think there are a lot of armies that really want a lot of heroes in order to kit their synergy pieces and thus will have high drops anyway or they want a lot of units to maximize total number of wounds and therefore are going to go into auxiliary units and have way more drops than anybody else anyway. At that point, they don't care. Yeah. So I think that overall, we probably see more... To I think we see fewer reinforced and definitely zero double reinforced units. However, everything has gone up in price. Most armies we've we've heard have like twenty percent more model, or twenty percent fewer models on the table, right? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. So assuming that uh, might have only been ten percent, I think most armies lost like two hundred points. So figure every army's just lost a unit off the top, and while they've lost the ability to double reinforce, they're trying to fit within some number of battle regiments. I suspect it's been fairly similar, and maybe just the fact that you've got one less on the table. Um, let's maybe see. slightly I, less. I lost. Two forty, just in the two blood thirsters alone. Um, everything else is so they yeah all the blood all the blood letters went up twenty so that's another sixty points. Um, flesh hounds went up ten. Bloodmaster went up like sixty I think or forty. So I'm three like maybe three fifty over what I used to be I think. Yikes. Or something like that. Um, All right. We're frozen again on the big screen. Nope, we're moving again. Okay. You, you are moving. Yeah. There is a command trait to start with one. Um, blood sacrifice is, is not a prayer anymore. It's... It's an ability on the Slaughter Priest War Scroll. So normally, like, if you would give yourself Blood Tide that way. Um, the, what's his name? Skull Taker is, like, an assassin piece, and I think if he kills a hero, he gets an extra. But it's, it, that table is, like, way tanned. Like, not having the, like, not having the fight, like, the extra fight is huge. It's so huge. Yes. And then... Yeah, yes, that's, that's the gone. ability to activate in the, the opponent's hero phase, yeah. or your own hero phase, whichever you need. Yeah. So, like, a lot of times, like, when, like, this situation, if we played this in third, I come out way better because Scarbrand just swings and just nukes one of those units mm -hmm. and, and, like, loosens that up quite a bit. Um, so that's a big, that's a big thing. Like, I, I don't know, like, I, like, the blood tide table's fine, but it's just hard to, like, if, if you're playing all, like, mono demon like this is, 
Um, it's just hard to generate. Like, it's hard to get it. Like, and there's just, there's just so many, like, little niggles that the army changed with. Like, I don't know. When I looked at the book, I'm like, this kind of takes us back to, like, the new book we had was amazing, obviously. Like, we were the best faction last edition by, by a pretty good margin. So, like, this happens, but, like, it just seems like everything that was in that book is gone. They took it out. And we're back to where we were, but like all that stuff that we had was like mitigation to deal with stuff. Like Murderlust was super good, but mm -hmm. but Murderlust was like getting things out of your face so you're not getting slammed. Like this, I just had there's nothing I could really do. I could kind of just sit and watch. The interesting thing you did, I think you had a good play with Murderlust where you did use it. The yeah. redeploy into and then I walk into combat, and then the first unit that activates, I fall out of combat with all the other units that I'm in yeah. combat with, so you only get to hit me once. Yeah. So my, my big corn brain, mm -hmm. like, that's the one I can latch onto because that's the one, so I'm like, I don't have to think about a million other ones. I'm like, this is the one I can absolutely do, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's a good play, but... I definitely I had not thought about both Murderlust and Redeploy at the same time, and that was with a roll, rolling a one, so it could yeah. have been far more effective. Yeah. I mean, I, don't, I just don't see a lot of other techie stuff with them. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I... Are you hoping to have something? I don't know. Um, like, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of still mad at myself for not playing Slaves at LBO. So, I don't know. Part of this is him trying to talk himself into finishing painting an army. Yeah, which is what I don't want to do, but... I don't know. Like I like the the mortal side would be better. Obviously, I mean, when you fling you know two plus say blood crushers into somebody's face, that does it. But like I don't know. I've done that so much, and nobody else did it, which was just weird. But yeah, I don't know. I think I want to. I kind of want to play something else. I think. I also think that one of the big things that worked for me here is that Daughters of Cain historically has problems with heavy armor. Yeah. And you only brought four up and five up saves. Yeah, that's so, the thing. And the demon half, that's it. Mm -hmm. like, You're looking at wards yeah. and effectively bulk wounds, yep. which this army does well. Not all armies do that well. Quality attacks are a thing as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, even like the, like I had, initially I had a unit of six skull, uh, blood crushers, and then I look at the war score and I'm like, oh, they lost a, a save? Yes. So I'm like, okay, I guess I don't, like I don't see a reason to take them. I guess quality sa attacks is the wrong way to put it, because actually, these are actually fairly good. I'm down to twos and threes by the end of it, yeah. but I don't have rent. Yeah. So, yes, that's basically the flaw I have. Yep. Um... But yeah, that's part of what you're up against is you are my target range for armor saves. This that one? works well for me. Skull is that, Island? Is that what they want to? Skull Mountain? Is that what they want to close Probably this one is the pool. This is a tar pit. Not to be confused with the Sister Slaughter who effectively wore a tar pit that game. <laughs> yeah, because we're doing like the whole on TV things are opposite things. Right. Which is kind of fun. Rock pillar pool. Th this is a rock pool. Well, this is a rock pillar and that's a pool. Yeah. We're also dealing with a 15 second delay after we point to anything before we see the reaction. Yeah. So. Oh, there's an ass. That's unfortunate. Oh, sure. But, but it looks like they're sub, so that's the one. I need to get up close. A bunch of pools like that. The Snarling Badger, yep. The, the up can. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if I put it up. No matter where Joe put this, we're just done with it now. <laughs> so this, actually, we know the focal plane on that is set so that this won't be visible. So hypothetically, it might have been visible back there a second ago. Oh, my, my arm's going to be kind of in the way. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Which, uh, which Snarling Badger games are you doing, like, the ones you playing? I know there was the... I know uh, Death Wizards was the one that... Uh... That's the new one. Yeah. And what was the Hell one? 
That one I don't Rain remember. Rain and Hell, I think? Rain and Hell, yes, that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I could, yeah. I'll keep take pictures and stuff if you need. So, feel about uh, Blender Ladies? They're, <laughs> I think uh, they do exactly what I wanted them to do again. I got, I had my fun with Marathi and the Bow Snakes for a couple of months, and then got real frustrated that the book only had one viable build in it, and it was about two hundred points of customization flair, and everything else was preset. Uh, we are back to the Wild West where everything needs to be trailblazed all over again. I am very excited for that. Daughters of Cain looks like it has probably four viable off-the-cuff builds. There's what I've got going here with a mix of um, uh, witch elves, warlocks, and then a regiment, a detachment of basically Melusai. Um, uh, basically trying to play an initiative wars game where between strike first on the charge, strike first with my, um, my hero charges, counter charging to try to get strike first, and re-rolling to try to force that, followed by if all of that fails, I can try to make your opponent strike last. That seems like a strong combination for a army that historically has been very good at throwing punches, but not the best at taking them. Um, there's the just oops all witch elves plan where you use gladiatrixes in order to give yourself the ren that the army typically struggles with, and now you have witch elves that are ren two on the charge, ren three if you get mind razor. We have a fairly obvious and strong combo there because as we saw, getting them up to 50 52? attacks from 13 models is uh, fairly straightforward. Um, and if I there was a mistake that I can immediately recognize mm, should have done that uh, start of the combat phase I should have given them all at slaughter to fight twice which either says no 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 you can't kill the cauldron you have to kill this unit or it says oh you killed the cauldron well we're going to tax you for that and we're going to tax you dearly so the, the screw up I made was I should have dropped the icon because that mm. could have potentially shut off that would have shut off your rally that you did? Yes. Potentially. Uh, could have potentially shut off all its order. That's a command point, right? Yes. Yeah. So um, I, that, was the, that was the one. That was the, like, honest to God, of, of everything I did this game, that was the one thing I looked at and I'm like, I, the, think, I, I screwed that up. Otherwise, the back. otherwise, I don't. I don't even know. What are your setup restrictions for the icon? Because manifestations, I think, can't bring down within nine inches of someone. Uh, I know endless spells can't. I don't know about prayers. I think it's... Isn't it... The ones that attack, though, I think statics could just drop. Okay. It I, might just be ones that I, the new I could be wrong. I'm not sure at all. I know it's, that... It's this giant, like, thing, <laughs> thing there. Block of text? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, yeah. great. So, yes, you can drop it up front. That'll turn off my rally. Yeah. Um, Potentially. I need to roll an eight. True. But, but I think... Um, and then it would have turned off all its slaughter, which would have been good. It would have meant that the Bloodstalkers don't shoot Scarbrand is actually what it would have done. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it. Reading the card explains the card. Got it. Okay. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that would be... You use, I never used any of my own manifestations. Um, I only have one wizard and I only have one priest and they both had jobs to do. Yeah. Um, so we're never going to see swords coming out. Mm-hmm. That, that is a slightly different build. Uh, oh, yeah, other Daughters of Cain builds. Obviously, Marathi is still here. She's still good. You just then have a much smaller army to go with her. She is still one of the hardest pinning pieces in the game to dislodge and still gets to give you very strong control of the combat. Uh, basically, where, what's fighting where in the battle and who's fighting who. Um, I see that as a very powerful um, uh, potential option. It's definitely not on the card. Um... There's also the Bucket of Wounds because Doomfire Warlocks are about, or no, they're exactly 10 points per wound, which even on a 5-up save, not bad. So... <laughs> Basically, the, the card says, roll 2d6, set it up with, wholly within the caster. That's all it says. Got it. And then it says you turn off wards on an 8-up, or turn off commands on an 8. So... Like it doesn't like where the where the thing goes and all that. That's not there. So it's just in the general rules for the uh, general rules for the actual 
manifestations. So yes, in this case, reading the card does not explain the card, but the absence of explaining the card explains some of the card. Some of the, some card. Of the card, yeah. Um, so like, there's my doc ramble. Yes, like, the army does what it wants, what I want it to do. Back to my corn ramble. Like I think, I think we're kind <laughs> of in a spot where like the army lacks like an identity again. I could see it, that is kind of what it feels like to me, because we kind of had that identity, and like there might be an identity that I'm just missing. Like I, I can absolutely like you know be missing something, but it does feel like they timiified the army. I think that was um, uh, one of the points you'd made earlier. Yeah, thanks, Vince. T Timmy loves Scarbrand. Yeah, I don't love Scarbrand. Like my favorite model for like three editions. It's like they, it's like him and the Boomthirster like kind of switch spots. They Boomthirster's still real swingy, but there's at least some reliability to it afterwards. Yeah, I mean, when he, and it's a lot easier to win, to win the um, uh, lever pull. Yeah, I mean, when he when he connects, he's gonna connect. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so it's in, in this case, yes. There's no further restrictions. You can drop it basically right on top of me and say you can't. You probably won't be able to get that rally. Yeah, um, that would have actually been a big deal. Um, I didn't know about the enhanced version of the prayer. I totally understand that was a thing that only happens if you roll a six. Doing it after you've rolled the six, I get that. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, that was. Um, I felt. I thought, I'm like. Then I spiked my dice, and none of it mattered. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, it's like. Like, the, the prayer system is just weird. Like, prayers, I think, are obviously better than magic. But it's weird. It's like, I'm going to cast this. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm in a bank. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just a weird thing. So it seems like, to me, I'm like, oh, I just roll to see if I cast maybe a bank and maybe I don't. Right. But, but you still need to say, like, hey, I'm, I'm casting. Yeah, and I still need to get used to declaring targets when I use abilities instead of after I've rolled the dice. Yeah. I was able to do it before you declared, am I unbinding this? But yeah. it's... I'm still up front before I roll the dice, technically I have to have a plan. Yeah, for sure. Usually that information of did it work won't change that, but for prayers it actually does. Yeah. Yeah, which is weird. Which, I mean, prayers are kind of cool. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, like new prayers. Um, um, I don't have anything. I mean, if you're in Austin, we have... Well, not Austin, but... Yeah, I mean, if you're in Austin, we have the we have the tips of the, tip of the spearhead tickets going on sale Monday. Um, it's a spearhead event. It's at a brewery. People can come play games, get drunk. It's five rounds. There's food, prizes, all that stuff. It'll be fun. Um, it's twenty five bucks for the whole day. You can kind of make a day trip out of it. Uh, like I said, tickets go on sale Monday. We'll have forty tickets available. Um, and then Monday too is like when this goes up on sale, and we have a bunch of other stuff coming. So, yeah. They did like close our favorite place, didn't they? Yeah, the um, uh, the Humpty's Wall of Breakfast. I think. Humpty's Wall of Breakfast is gone. Yeah, it's Remember a shame. IP Humpty's Wall of Breakfast. So I got to try it twice before it went, but yeah, yeah that was it's a good. shame. Yeah, Randy, I will meet you at Taco Deli. That sounds good. Here, August ten. I think so. Yeah, it's August ten. I mean, let's be let's be honest though. The favorite place that got closed is still Loves. Yes, yes, amazing Chicago pizza that that is just gone. Unfortunate. Gone into the ether of horrible Texas pizzas. Three people that bet on Matt, I will get you out before. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone would. Yep. There was the there was there was one person dumb enough to vote for me. I don't know who that was. Sorry. I, I could have. They I, believed. Yeah, I didn't believe. You to... I didn't believe. But yeah, no, we appreciate everybody coming out. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I think that's kind of gonna do it for us here. Uh, we'll be hanging out at Dragon's Lair tomorrow. Uh, we'll be playing in GT. And I will not be playing corn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, should be good. All right. Thanks yeah. a lot, everybody. Yeah, last thing, um, drop a like, follow, do all the, the fun things that make things go ding. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Have, Have a good night. night. As we stand here, basically. Waiting for food. Wait. <laughs>